Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? Good morning. Good. Second day. Oops. Big marathon, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so who is the first comer? Newcomer to the NES. Well, welcome. So I guess your veteran colleagues did tell you it was going to be a marathon, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we're not over yet. Uh, well, we are going to show you a Brazil marathon today. Um, so we know that most of you come here uh, to find out what you don't know. Uh, and then probably connect with new vendors that can provide a solution or solve a problem that you may have back in your organization. Um, so you've been going through the boardrooms last yesterday, you're going to go through some today. And in every single boardroom you have a vendor come in and tell you what they can do for you. But how many of those did bring eight companies in one single shop? <laughs> That's what we're going to do today. Uh, we have Brazil IT is just a brand <coughs> name for the government's initiative to showcase the best of breed Brazilian IT companies. And when we say Brazilian IT companies, best of breed, we're saying the ones that are already operating as an American corporation established in the US, servicing American clients. But because we have eight, we are going to have a different format. We're going to do the elevator pitch. Each one will come up here, and in three minutes, we'll give you an overview. It's an overview, and we hope that we'll raise questions and that you will come to the booth and have them answered. Okay? So let me go forward, because I'm also in the three-minute drill. I have to go. Brazil's not only about beach or soccer or beautiful cities. Uh, so what we want to share with you today is something that you're probably facing on a daily basis, which is the balance between risk and reward. And how many of you feel a little bit like this? with the pressure of what is the old and what's the coming of the new. So some of you may feel like it's a CIO is a management officer. Some of you may feel it's impossible. Some of you may want to get out of Dodge. What they're telling you, however, is that you should be looking at innovation, chief innovation officer. Uh, but we want to bring to you something that's different uh, and probably more relevant today because it's based on two main axes business imperatives and business outcomes. That's what we've been called for on a daily basis. And it no longer helps us to be working the way we used to, where it's a bottom approach. Everything now is bottom up. Uh, no longer we are able to do in-house custom development. It takes too long. Even SAS and BPO is taking too long. We're now going digital. So we want to invite you to consider that instead of being just a CIO, that you consider being a CCO. And by CCO, we mean Chief Conductor Officer. We have to facilitate. We have to make the right connections. And to show you some of the best musical <coughs> instruments for your new orchestra, I want to start off and invite my friend Gil from X Minds. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm sorry. My name is Gil. I'm with AppMinds. We offer customized application development and <coughs> cloud management. Uh, we have development centers in Brazil, around 600 people. We're in business for the last 30 years in Brazil, 12 years in the US. Uh, mobile first was a trend for the last couple of years. Companies started to build uh, the mobile applications in the first place for a new product development. And uh, we were on that trend. We built more than 500 uh, mobile applications. But now we see another trend, and, and we believe so much in this trend, which is the API first. Now we develop the, the APIs, we create the APIs, and from the APIs, then we build the mobile applications, the web-based applications. And this was very useful for one specific case we have, a client that is in the fashion uh, retail, and he needed a mobile application because most of the sales for e-commerce today, uh, they're made <coughs> by mobile devices, smartphones, tablets. So he needed that uh, application right away. He couldn't uh, lose the, the time to market. And, but at the same time, he was replacing his e-commerce platform. So he was like, Am I going to do this or not? Because I'll have to change it uh, soon because of the platform. So with this approach, we can develop the mobile application. And as soon as he 
replaces the platform, you just need to reconnect the APIs. So he's not going to lose this whole, this whole work. Uh, this is one case. Uh, we have 20 people working for the last two years for one of the largest cable TV companies in the US uh, using microservices, Spring, NoSQL databases, Amazon Web Services, Netflix open source, and no file at all for this job. So very uh, innovative and recent technologies. For the uh, mobile applications, now we, uh, we have the hybrid approach. Uh, native functionalities are developed when, when they are needed, but most of the code we develop for multiple platforms using HTML5 and speeding up uh, with AngularJS. Okay, so you have like, depending on the application, 60%, 70% of the code is for multiple platforms. So to save money, uh, you can get things going faster. We have a very experienced and skilled staff uh, to manage cloud and help migrating infrastructure. For this specific case, uh, we could improve performance for the client and also save around 84%. So it was, was a big challenge. And now we keep managing the infrastructure 24 by 7 and guarantee 99% of availability. These are some of the clients we have. Uh, on the top we have some clients in the US and those are global clients. And thank you very much. Please stop by the booth so we can give you more details about some of the cases. Thank you, Gil. Thank you very much. Now we have Lise Quanta from our software. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The challenge is stop up our software in three minutes. Basically, we are a IT governance company. We develop the platform to give you the chance to provide governance just not only in IT, but you can give to the business unit to the market in your company the possibility to create the governance between UIT and the business units processes. You can give to the business units the possibility to manage their our process without your help, without your support. Our platform uh, is full of functionality like any other ITSM platform, including <coughs> CMDB, BPM, workflow. You can do everything inside the platform, but it's easy to leave the business unit to manage their processes. It's probably uh, some of you know Remedy or something like that, right? It's taken a long time to implement, like one year and a lot of thousands of dollars to, to do that. We do faster, we do easily. There is some, of course, some functionality that they don't have mobility and uh, you know you can use the platform everywhere, anytime you want. So uh, it's a lot of information that you, I can tell here, but uh, if you have time, come to the booth uh, 1 to 12 and there is time to there to show more about the platform. And here, we are based in the US, the company has been more than 10 years, and uh, US and Brazil, of course. There is some clients here that is in the US and global clients like Chin and Oi, big telecoms, but uh, most of our clients is, is mid-sized enterprise because the biggest company sometimes prefer to spend a lot of money, but million dollars in revenue or other solution. Probably you don't have this money, but if you have a chance to provide this kind of service to the other business you can cover. Okay? Thank you for your time. See you on the book. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. Fabio now from Dextra. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I'm Fabio, business developer at Dextra, and I'm here today to share with you our strong belief in the increasing digitalization of businesses which is bringing IT to the center of the strategy of any company. And we know that this digital transformation is a huge challenge, <clears throat> completely different from the classic keep the lights on at a reasonable cost. This is still there, by the way, but keeping your servers, networks, telecommunications, legacy applications, and complying with governance and satisfy your users are no longer enough. The business areas are pushing us more and more and more to continuously deliver high quality, high value, digital innovation. And this requires a whole new set of skills and a completely different mindset <coughs> of our teams 
for, from both IT and business teams to be able to deliver both goals. Gardner has come with this, came up with this vision about how IT should transform itself to address those both goals, keep the lights on, and <coughs> your teams are probably doing a good job at you know working as marathoners to keep the business running. But doing that and innovate, it's like being a marathoner and a sprinter at the same time. So our offer for you is to work as, as the sprinters and to extend the capabilities of your teams, enabling them to work on digital innovation. And why are we better than others at doing this? That's because we combine the best of agile techniques to build great software, to put together the right technologies, and we love to talk about business on top of that. So actually, we love to hear about our business first before we write any line of code or uh, define any new technology that will be required for your project. So uh, this is what we do. And uh, we have done that so far in several different business segments. And we believe that having this cross-industry experience enables us to provide you with great ideas about how to digitally innovate. We have more than a million hours in agile software development, and we would love to receive you uh, later today at our booth or any time during the day to go further in this conversation and discuss how we can work together to build great software ready to lead to the digital transformation for your business. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Fabio. Uh, we have now Rich Shaddix from eCore. Sure. Good morning. It was nice seeing some of you folks out here at the booth. Did you guys get your flip flops when you came yes. by the booth? Okay, great. If you didn't, that's when you had to come by the booth. And Robert will talk a little bit more about that. So, <laughs> exactly. I already got an email from somebody who wants a pair. So, this morning already, so it's exciting. Let's talk a little bit about eCore. We are a resource solution company. What I mean by that is we can provide you qualified, cost-effective resources around application development, quality assurance, and application maintenance in most of all the basic technologies that you work with. That can be from uh, nearshore outsourcing, or also one of the fastest growing aspects <coughs> of our business is nearshore staff augmentation. So you probably don't have a desire right now to outsource or plan to outsource large parts of your business but you are having difficulty potentially filling one or two job positions. And we have found that our clients are finding that a very growing piece because of the demand. Uh, the U.S. government states there's a quarter million <coughs> IT openings a day in the U.S. It's not getting any better. So what we will do is provide you a qualified candidate's resume, and then we'll arrange for you to have an interview uh, with technical or management via video or conference call. And some of our clients put them to work right then. Others like to come to the U.S. and spend a few weeks to meet the teams. The other area that we're promoting this week is we are an Alaskan Platinum <coughs> partner. Does anybody have Jira or Confluence in their environment? Okay, great. So we offer several services around this, uh, from administrative services to implementation and best practices. If you're running Agile in your environment, Alaskan is the fastest growing technology in the world right now. It provides portfolio management and project management around Agile products. So if you come by booth 112, we'd love to talk to a little bit more about it. And the last slide just gives you an indication of some of our client base and also how we are positioned in the U.S. We do have offices in the United States as well. Thank you, Richard. Tomorrow for the first. Hello, everybody. My name is Mauro, and I'm going to talk a little bit about identity and access management, security in general. Well, everybody knows that information security costs a lot of money. You see in the morning news, companies appearing there, and more than, more than money, they lose the confidence of the market. It's very difficult to recover again. And to solve this problem, to avoid a nightmare, usually my colleague consultant, was consultant and auditor for many years, they say, implement governance. Governance means uh, compliance with laws and regulation, and do these, of course, efficiency, agility to keep you in business. But what, what does it mean, governance, when you're talking about identity and access management? It means that you 
should perform attestation, review the rights of the people when something changes. If some people change from moves from one department to another, how to reflect this moving in your system? How to guarantee that you have a segregation of duty? If someone has uh, the power to request a money transfer, how to guarantee that doesn't have the power to approve the said money transfer? How to create and revoke users based on business objectives? Makes sense. Guarantee that the relation between people and their rights or profiles and systems makes sense. This is the governance that you help our clients to implement. We can provide this as a service, so we don't need concern about the specialists or architects and data and access managers. We are the specialists. Our company are listed and our software is listed in the Magic Quadrant from Gartner since 2011. We are certified in ISO 27001. We have clients all over 10 countries and offices in the United States and Latin America. So if you operate in both, we really can help you. And we are unique because our solution can do provisioning using connectors to systems like Active Director, LDAP, SAP, but not just that. We can synchronize information with the cloud, so we can offer to our client a complete vision about the rights, who has rights, uh, orphan accounts, and extract reports, so prove to auditing that you have a process in place. And of course, we have clients and cases that we're more than happy to share with you and work together that identify how it can help you to protect money and reputation. <coughs> Thank you very much. My name is Mauro and I'm from e Trust. Please visit us in our button. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Mauro. Well done. Next, Guilherme from Ecolotech. Thank you, Robert. <coughs> so, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks very much for your time. And I'm here. My name is Guilherme Fagnani. I'm a business development manager with Ecolotech. And I'm here to talk to you about how Ecotech can help you empower your IT operations with the use of uh, dashboard and analytics <coughs> software. So as an IT executive, you, I'm sure you handle multiple management systems in your daily operations, and you need a, a way to visualize them all on a single control panel and in re near real time and act upon it if something goes wrong. You also probably generate lots of data, and uh, you want to learn from that data, and you want to extract the best uh, results out of these data. You also want to communicate what are the IT contributions you're doing to the, uh, to the business, how you're impacting the business with your contributions. Uh, the lady on the red boots, Heather, talked about that in her, uh, in her <laughs> keynote. And you also uh, probably heard about the word analytics, but you're not sure about what that means and how it can benefit your, your company, but you want to start doing something about it. So if any of these situations sounds familiar to you, then Ecotech can help you address and overcome this challenge. So let me start with our product offering. Advanced Dashboards is a software tool that allows you to integrate multiple management systems and have a single control panel to visualize all of them in one place. It's HTML5, so you have it pretty much on any device, anywhere you, you are, anytime you need. We also offer Dash Analytics, another software tool. It comes with more than 40 prepackaged analysis built on top of statistical and machine learning algorithms that you can use right out of the box and allows you to identify opportunities to improve your revenue, to reduce your cost, to become more efficient in your operations. Gardner recently defined a new tools market called, I, called IOBVDs, Infrastructure and Operations Business Value Dashboard. It's a new way for IT leaders like you to communicate to your business leaders what's the impact that you're generating with your activities. And Ecotech was named one of representative vendors in that space. And last but not least, we also offer consulting services in analytics Ecotech has developed a strong reputation as an analytics powerhouse throughout the years. We have a team of dedicated data scientists and SMEs that can work with your team and our tools to get the best value out of the data that you generate. So at this point, you're prob probably asking yourself, okay, why should I care about everything that you're telling me right now? So if you remember uh, Jim Noble's keynote, he uh, also mentioned the Einstein quote, right? There's no, there's no data. There's no science, no science, no civilization. So if you translate that into corporate terms, that means 
only the data-driven organizations will survive. And we can help you become that data-driven organization. So if you want to unlock the power of analytics and dashboards in your company, please come talk to us. We are at Move 112 with the rest of the pack. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Raphael from uh, MC1. <coughs> Hi, I'm Rafael Garcia from MC1. MC1 stands for Mobile Corporation One. And what do we do? We are experts in two different processes that we translate to mobile application. The first one, field services automation. The second one, sales process automation. We're going to talk about both solutions in a while. Everything that we offer to our clients is everything as a service. So it means that the solution, infrastructure, hardware can be a, uh, as a service. So by user, by money. Right, you don't need to invest on servers and anything like that. MC1 is present in more than 20 countries, and we have uh, physical offices in six different countries: Brazil, Venezuela, United States, and Peru, Diego, Florida, and, uh, Canada, Argentina, and Canada. Okay. Uh, today we are working with more than 45,000 users around the world, and those are some of our our clients, actual clients. 50% of our clients are mid-market or upper mid-market. They are working with, the, uh, for example, in the sales process, uh, food, beverages, agriculture, uh, health care, dental care, using our process and our product to sell their products. And for the field services, we have municipalities, cities, towns, universities, uh, telecom operators, energy and gas, working on application to perform the maintenance and all the, the, the field services process. Yes. So we have some strategic partners. Our middleware integrates with pretty much everything. It's ISAP, Oracle, HANA, uh, everything that on cloud or on-premises. So it doesn't matter if it's you're using on-prem or if you want to integrate on the cloud, right? And the both uh, solutions I was talking about, so the <coughs> one in the market for sales, which covers the sales process management. So what should I uh, sell? Who should I sell? Uh, what's my planning? my rules, my promotion, my discount, my business rules, up to this retail execution. So, but uh, all the activities that I have to perform in the field. And I mean the market for services is the same. So, uh, what's my planning, what's my technicians, uh, the GPS, the maps, all the maintenance orders, uh, up to the, to the execution, right, up to the field execution. Uh, we are also in Garden, uh, retail execution report, uh, our price starts from 10 to $50 per user per month, so it's very close effective, right? Very fast implements going digital, three weeks implemented. And, uh, well, my name is Rafael, thank you very much, and I wish you in our group. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rafael. <laughs> and now we have Dan Rao from Stephanie. Good morning. <coughs> We've joked at previous boardrooms that this is like speed dating. So. <laughs> well, I'm an Aries, I like long walks on a beach. <laughs> <laughs> I <do> craft beer. <laughs> Um, so I'm with Stephanie. Uh, show of hands, who's heard of Stephanie? All right, so this is going to be good. Not you. Uh, so 90s are very relevant to Stephanie, very relevant to me. I'm a big uh, 90s alternative rock, grunge music fan. That's, that's my bread and butter. So that's very close to me. It's also special to Stephanie because we were founded in the 80s, but it started exploding and growing significantly in the 90s. Here's some statistics that represent why 90s are significant to us as well. But one I want to highlight over here, 95% client satisfaction for launch services. Any implementation or launch that we do, we do a post-launch survey to all our client constituents. We have a 95% satisfaction rate, which Gardner tells us is a world-class level of performance. Uh, a lot of information up here, but there's some good things I want to highlight. This year, Stephanie will cross 20,000 employees worldwide, with over 2,000 employees in the U.S. That's why I consider Stephanie one of the best kept secrets and why none of you have heard of us yet. So we provide IT solutions, uh, three main categories. One, strategic staffing within the IT space, you know, finding those, those tough to fill positions. Um, the second, IT outsourcing, infrastructure, service desk, desktop support. And last, about 50% of our overall business is in the application development space, where we do application development on all main platforms, .NET, Java, mainframe, mobility, um, we also operate a bit in the, uh, quite a bit in the uh, SharePoint space. Show of hands who's implemented SharePoint in their environment. Show of hands who has an uncontrollable SharePoint environment. <laughs> Pretty common, not, not very uncommon. So we come in and we help those that have already implemented if they need to do a, a 
a review and restructuring, as well as help those in who might want to do an upgrade to newer versions of SharePoint. Um, so uh, I think the other thing I want to highlight here is that uh, we have a very flexible engagement model, whether it's a staffing log or uh, a managed service solution. We're, we're very flexible with how we build for our customers. And that kind of goes to this next slide. We have we pride ourselves on our long-term client relationships. Uh, we've grown in a 30% KJR over the last 15 years because we've uh, obtained and retained long-term client accounts. These are just some of the clients we've had for over 10 years. Um, we have over 500 active clients with our largest client representing less than 8% of our global revenues. With that being said, that means we thrive <coughs> in the mid-market space because we develop tailored solutions that meet your business demands as opposed to trying to sell you a consistent box solution. We understand one size doesn't fit all, so we have to work to, to meet your business demands. So I'd love to talk more about it, Stephanie, and if we have any any services we can provide for you, Booth 112 and the rest of the group. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. <coughs> so ladies and gentlemen, like my friend Dan said, best speed dating in town. <laughs> so think about this. If you come here to understand new vendors that can occupy a space that you need to fill a problem you need to solve, and you're looking to find these vendors, which is the best criteria to pack so much information to provide to you, then have a speed dating format with eight companies and the presentation of more than 30 minutes. So because of that, we think that beyond that criteria, we should have the best presentation vote from you. <laughs> because no one else is going to pack so much information relevant to you in the next uh, two days. So uh, please, for those that haven't made an appointment um, with some of our colleagues, do not forget to come by the booth. And it's not flip-flops, it's beachwear. <laughs> it's beachwear to Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> the Olympics is coming out. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We'd love to see you down the booth once well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.